So, here we are again. Got the Max today. Um, also got the camera on a different thing. So it's not on my head. So it's on my chest. So hopefully it works. So um, done a few things to this. I'll try and talk you through them. So since I last brought it here I have uh, changed all the bearings because they were all absolutely trashed from leaving it in the wet because remember it piddled it down and I had dog dirt bags on my controller today's a lovely day so no need for uh, dog dirt bags as you can see um, but what I was doing was thinking about how to try and reduce some of the slap on the chassis and um, something I noticed that I thought was quite cool is Traxxas actually make different springs for their shock absorbers now I could be wrong but I've never known anyone else do that like I don't think you can buy hardened or different um spring weights for armor 3s for example uh, you have to like swap them off other cars you know what i mean so you have to like buy outcast 4s ones or whatever and that's the only way you can do it but traxxas make for these for these shocks that these this car has which i think are gt shocks something like that they have um, different springs available so there's all sorts of talk of like putting of putting um sledge springs on and stuff like that sledge shocks which i considered but i also um, after speaking to traxxas customer care they've got like a chat like a chat box thing so you can like your know, live chat which is quite good because i don't like speaking to people so you know doing it on a chat box quite good but it's a it's a real person who speaks to you albeit by a chat and i asked them what's the what's the spring rate on the v2 traxxas max and they told me it was about one point something one 1.7 or something, I can't remember what, it, what they said. And you can just buy thicker springs, heavier springs. So I bought the heaviest, the heaviest springs they make, stuck them on the back. They've got like a green, a little bit of green on them, like a bit of green paint. I'll show you. Hopefully you can see that on this new camera thing I've got. You see the green paint. So they're the heaviest, heaviest shocks you can buy for this one. And then what I did was put them, because uh, from the factory they come with different weight springs, front and back. So exactly the same shocks, no difference in length on the Max. Which is probably why it doesn't go around corners very well. So same length shock, same size, but they put different weight springs on at the factory. So what I've done is put the ones that were on the rear on the front. So the fronts are now heavier. And put me new ones that I bought on the back. So basically, it's got heavier springs. And like all things from Traxxas, it didn't cost much. If it was a tenner, I think that's about how much it was, about 10 quid. And 
seems all right. So far. I'm in the firing line here, aren't I? It's better. It seems to handle better as well. Could just be me. I think a lot of this is placebo. You think you've changed stuff and you think it's better or you want to believe it's better. But it seems good. Seems all right. Oh, I've also done, which I know JP Bashed will be interested in, and possibly Craig from Craig's Bash and, Bash and Crash. Craig's Smash and Crash. Smash and Crash with Craig. Craig's Bash It and Smash It, his channel. Um, because I think he also has had issues with his shell coming off. So all I've done is done my... Um, my Velcro thing that I do on the X-Max because last time I came it was a joke because of the shell coming off so I've basically just done what I've done on the X-Max which is trail some three pound Velcro through the Nerf bars on the sides which seems to just keep that rear rear thing on. Got the dogs? <laughs> Pack. <laughs> it's like uh, Caesar Martinez with all his dogs. Also, the Velcro's holding that body in which... Which I hate because it always flips out, doesn't it? But I think... Let's have a look. Yeah. Holding it in. Holding it in. And I've got some foam there just to, just to stop it rubbing so, so much. So that's working to treat that little bit of Velcro. And the good thing with it, it doesn't go underneath, which if you bored yourself watching my last video yesterday, day before, um, yeah, I don't like them when they go underneath because they get caught on stuff and like rip off. Right, this ramp is aiming towards me, which I don't want. That's better. Been good that ramp good purchase for a million quid That was awful, doesn't it?
fantastic. <laughs> A big landing, Sam. going on. Let's see why. Trot this growing on me. Very strong. job. Sugar. 
trying to keep these bearings dry. I managed to, managed to go through water, but still, should spin it off. Hang on, what's up in there? Sounds like the motor wires come out. Oh no. Yes, yeah, see. I think the fans broke on that. So I'm reluctant to keep going because I don't really want to blow up that ESC. It keeps overheating. I can't get that one out. I think that yeah, I think it's come off. Just can't feel any. No, there's no fan on it. I don't really want to just keep bypassing it. I'll call it quits at that. Damage limitation. Could just have a rock in it or something. That could be what's causing it just to not work. But look, it's killing the power. Um, to them, eh? Got some big comfy new balance on today. I don't know if you can see them with this camera. Fantastic. Sunny day. Beautiful. Broken car. Yeah, but new springs were good. That worked well. It felt it felt good. Felt alright. Here we go, look. Light's gone off. So yeah, it felt good. Um felt quite poised, doesn't Oh, sen doesn't go down so much when you but well, it still does but not as much and the slap didn't sound so bad maybe it's got more solid springs and it didn't bounce it wasn't bouncing um to try and get that water off it It wasn't bouncing, which I thought it might have done, because I've not done anything with the shock weights. There are still stock, which I think on this is 60 weight, front and back. I even bought some Traxxas. Uh, I'm right into it now, you know, Traxxas, my God. If it says Traxxas on it, I'm buying it. So yeah, I bought some Traxxas shock fluids, Traxxas diff fluids, everything, right into it. Traxxas batteries, Traxxas chargers, Oh, just need a t-shirt or imagine if they did trainers. Now that would be it. I don't know if I could cope. I have to have five pairs, waterproof pair. It'd be amazing. But anyway, um, yeah, normal weight in the shocks. But just these firmer springs, rear to front and green springs on the back. Available in the UK. quick in it now that six SESC has made a real difference I think especially when it overheats right thanks for watching see you later